All right, here we are in Hood River, Kite Surfing Magazine. Robbie Nash is here to show us some of the uh, foil lineup uh, from the Nash line. And uh, just, can you give us just a brief kind of vision of what's going on this year with Nash? Yeah, well, I mean, first of all, good to be here, okay. taking advantage of the uh, no wind at the moment. Um, yeah, we're excited for this year. For the brand, it's kind of a reset to a certain degree, um, both in terms of, of graphics, you know, the graphic approach to uh, everything that we do has been yep. unified a change in the, the look of the marketing and trying to just kind of show people that we still have an absolute 100% committed passion for all of these sports yes. you know, especially when we've been doing it as long as we have you know, like next year is going to be our our 20th year wow. in the kite business alone and we've been around a lot longer than that it's gone fast you can tend to not get stale but yep. you know people don't know how long you've been around in the legacy and the history but then dealers can also be a bit oh yeah seen that been there done that and they get excited about what's new oh there's something new there's something new yeah. and so we're trying to keep it fresh you know obviously our stuff is well seasoned you know we've been making kites for a long time we've making windsurfing boards forever uh, we've been making all of this stuff really since the beginning of each of these sports even stand up foiling we weren't the first brand in the game but we've been in you know now fully committed for a while and um, that unity that you're seeing across the board in terms of graphics and, and everything else is just to show our total commitment to each one of these disciplines. Right. You know, we've got a dedicated team in each sport that is just living and breathing that sport. And uh, the refresh of everything being bright and bold and saturated colors and no subliminal graphics and no half tones is just that yeah. kind of punch in the face that, yeah, this is you know, yeah. new and fresh. And uh, we're excited about it. It's been really well received um, at a really good importer meeting in, in Europe. We launched earlier this year as well than we've ever launched before. Yeah. So all of our stuff is coming in the beginning of the summer instead of in the fall. And so it kind of surprised a lot of people that we were launching 2019 product yeah. in the summer of 2018. Awesome. But it was, again, just to kind of surprise the market and show that we're you know, really passionate about what we're doing. And we're not just on a treadmill making stuff for the business of it. We do this because we love to do it. Right. Money aside, you know, it's good to be able to pay the bills and keep running forward. Mm -hmm. But we'd be doing it anyway. Right. So. Cool. Uh, so, yeah, to, to show you through the foil stuff, um, you know, we have a full line of kite uh, foil boards still. Um, the existing ones, just re-graphic that we had before, the 160, the 155, and the 130, okay. unchanged. There's a new 112, a new 127, and a new 145 that are, like if you compare the 112 to last year's 112, it's thinner. Yeah. Uh, everyone that rides it can't believe how reactive it is super super crisp under your feet it seems to have a nicer finish too doesn't it well what we've done for everything like yep. all of the hovers the hovers are our, our foil boards yep. whether it's a kite board a surfboard a windsurf board a sup any foil board is the same graphic same color so cool. silver in the front with the red orange fade or orange yeah. in the back and all are full gloss yeah, so sure. again, no sanded finishes, no half tones. That, that helps with durability as well, a little bit. With well, I mean, if you put it in a school, it's going to get scratched yeah. up from harness hooks, people right. climbing on them and stuff. But it's like when you go buy a new car, yep. you don't want that someone went before you bought it and sanded the whole thing with 400 grit. And, right. yeah. you know, it's got metal exposed and it's got primer here and there. And I just got tired of that look that sort of became trendy through windsurfing slalom boards in the beginning and then made its way into everything else. A lot of reveals and, oh, look at our tech reveal. And, stuff. Yeah, yeah. and so I'm like, forget all the reveals, forget all the overtones. Let's just make everything crisp and bold. And when it's sitting in the store, it's new. When you unwrap it, it's shiny. There's not yeah. even a fingerprint on it. Cool. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's bold. And that's our, our statement for the year is live boldly. Yeah. And we're using that kind of as our, our over for the entire brand for each sport, sort of our over theme for the year. Cool. So um, you have all new wings this year? Or yeah. The, the new kite wing. Right? Yeah, new kite wing, the KS2, uh, obviously a lot more complex than, than the KS1 that we had last year. Yeah. Um, a lot more going on. It's more stable. It's still a free ride wing. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not making stuff for the guys that are out, you know, with Olympic dreams, you right. know, at this point. We probably will in the future as as things develop and solidify. Yes. Um, but these are free red wings. They're made to be accessible, easy to ride. 
you know, they're not just putt-putt around for the kooky guy. You can grow with it. But we're not selling stuff that's so challenging that a guy that's just getting into foiling can't get on it and, and have fun pretty much right away. There's quite a bit more shape in this one. Though. Yeah, a lot more shape. Got more dihedral, upturned tips. What does that do for the rider, like this this shape here? What is it What's it meant to just give you a little bit more turning ability? Yeah, but it, it was it was initially made so that it would be faster. You could ride harder okay. and faster and put more load on it. Yeah. It ended up being that it was even better just for cruising around. It's more stable through the arc and through choppy yeah. water. Um, fuselage has been modified. It's stronger. Still has the adjustable rear wing as last okay, year's, but it's a stronger angle. system. Yeah. So you can still angle. You know, change your angle of attack. Bigger riders can go with more lift. Smaller riders with left width, less width. Uh, the three, the vertical stabilizer and the horizontal is now monocoque construction instead of puzzled together. So it's stronger, oh, okay. so uh, it's all even more piece. durable. Yeah, and where the wings used to mount on a tab, you know, like a fin tab, yeah. now they're mounted in the vertical stabilizer. Okay. So the whole unit is just way, way more, more structurally durable. sound and durable. If you're, yeah. you know, bouncing it off the bottom, learning or whatever, you're not going to snap your wings or bend your fuselage. So yeah. just more durability. Um, and then the 127 is basically a more accessible version of that 112 that everybody loves so much. So for the yeah. guy that just can't it's ride such a maybe, small board. If you're a little advanced. Yeah, or even end on it. Yeah. You know, you may not need to go unless you're you know, a really little guy, you may never need to go down to such a small board because this gives you that nice light dynamic feel under your feet, but a little easier to get going than the yeah. 112. Like you really it's need to gonna, be able to it's not gonna bury the nose as quick. Exactly. Yeah. So just a little more accessibility for guys that aren't as good or for guys that are heavier. Yeah. And this is then, so those are the two kite, this is the kite wing and then you get into the surf wing. Yeah, and then you get... A lot of guys are using... Exactly, I mean, a big part of our thrust foil system, tripping on your cord here, is the modular compatibility. Right. So all of the wings, fuselages, masts, for all of the sports are interchangeable. So it's not like you buy a wing set with a fuselage. Yeah. And if you wanted different wings, you have to buy it all together because it only fits with that set. Right. So you can buy last year's wing, put it on this year's fuselage, take this year's front wing, put it on last year's fuselage. You can take the kite setup, yep. change mass, put on a, a smaller mass for windsurfing or foiling. Yep. You can put the surf wing on it. What we're Absolutely finding, completely. all interchangeable. Yeah. Awesome. And everything's a perfect fit. And what we're finding is a lot of people are preferring to kite with the medium surf wing. Mm -hmm. So this is our universal wing. You can windsurf with it. It windsurfs unreal. Is this is the medium. Okay. Yeah, so it windsurfs unreal. That's what most people ride with our crossover. Mm -hmm. So the windsurf SUP hover crossover, that's the wing that, that everybody uses. That's the wing I kite foil with. Oh, okay. I'm a pretty cruisy kite foiler. I want it to feel the same dynamic front foot back foot as when I'm surf foiling yeah. and so that is really early lifting super playful really really forgiving you know the KS2 and pretty much any kite wing you've got to have a fair bit of forward speed yeah, for the thing to stabilize right yeah. and this you can just cruise around with a tiny kite barely moving still handles pretty good speed if you want to go fast you make all your transitions make all your yeah. jibes because it's got so much surface tension yeah that it just doesn't drop out on you right. so really really good crossover like if a guy wants to kite foil yeah. maybe try surf foiling maybe sup foil that's the one because you can use it on everything cool and what about the, what about this ad, this new base system that, that's yeah, like I mean, that's, exclusive to you guys that's our most exciting feature yeah. right now is uh, the abracadabra makes it so that you with the turn of a single screw um, should get a yeah, I should get a screwdriver and show you. We had a thumb screw, and guys were catching their kite lines on it and unscrewing their, oh, <laughs> their yeah. mask. So I said, all right, no thumb screw. No. Everyone's got a Phillips head so screwdriver. So unscrew that little bolt. Yeah, right let there. me get a screwdriver. Okay. Charlie, do you have a Phillips head? Just want to undo the abracadabra and that one. All those screwdrivers, isn't that? 
There we go. Sorry about that. You know, I say everyone's always got a Phillips head somewhere, but I didn't have one. So yeah, just a, a single screw. And this for guys like me that are riding a bunch of different boards. Yeah. So I have an abracadabra plate on all of my boards. And you just unscrew that. And wow. pop that guy out. And you're you go. not driving around. and forgetting your boards on the car and banging it into the top of your garage losing and losing one of the four bolts <laughs> yeah losing a bolt and so what you do is you're going to find out where you want that plate on each of your boards and yeah. set it up as such you know that puts goes on just like a normal plate system and then uh the abracadabra just slides in there mounts up and uh you're ready to go really it's pretty right. sick and again, for me, where I've got several boards and I'm interchanging, I just have surf different. Foil or, yeah. yeah, exactly. Do you usually like surf foil uh, with us all the CS, the 70 or the 55? Yeah, I'm surf foiling always on the 70. Yeah. Sometimes even longer. Yeah. My style is from the very beginning because I spent so much time windsurf foiling on a 90 or a 100. Oh, yeah, right. My sort of height perception is really high. And when I started surfing, immediately on the 55, I was always bringing the wing out of the water. Okay, yeah. uh, for most people, that's definitely the right size to start with. Right. But I pretty much immediately jumped to the 70, and I, I surf on that. Cool. And then the newest surf wing is the extra large? Yeah, we've got the extra large now, which is that an XL? Yeah. What's that big one? That's a universal windsurf. There's an XL. Um, so yeah, we got the medium, the large, and the extra large. And basically, is it like weight of rider that's going to use the extra large? Or it's, is it like it's weight and rider and what you want to do. Okay. Like the only time even a big guy is really going to surf the XL mm -hmm. is in little tiny waves. Okay. You know, it's basically when you need max lift. Right. When a big, big guy, yeah, sure, but it's not really designed for full on you know, blast and carving. It's max lift, so great for downwinders. Okay. Really good for subfoiling where you've got, you know, more board and, you know, more okay. that you got to get out of the water and for sure for bigger guys. Yeah. But it's it was designed originally just to get going in as tiny a wave as possible, boat wakes, downwinders, yeah. and then for full-on surfing, you go to the, the medium or the large for bigger guys. Now, has any construction changed? The construction itself has changed yeah the wings too. the wings are now like if you take the the l compared to last year's l it's 50 percent the weight okay. and this is nearly 50 percent so lighter so what we've done is just reduce the core weight yeah. so the lamination is still the same 100 percent prepreg carbon uh but the core is lighter so strength is the same yeah. just lightened up the wings and again the construction change on the on the rear wings cool well, we're looking forward and excited to get out there on them. Hopefully, we'll get some wind. Oh, it's so, so fun. That's all I want to do these days. I'm yeah. like at home waiting for the wind to die so I can go windsurf foil <laughs> and lighter that wind. Would happen, I right? know. <laughs> and then searching out crappy waves so we can go prone surf foiling, you know. Wow. It's, uh, it's added a whole dimension, and I mean, that's what we're about is getting people on the water. And what we're really yeah. trying to do is get people on the water in accessible conditions that they've got on equipment that's accessible to within their ability level. We don't just want to make Formula One cars for rich people that are good enough and have enough money to buy them. We want to get normal guys out on the water at home yeah. so you don't have to fly to Maui to ride. You don't have to come to the gorge to ride. You know, our windsurf gear, the Hover 122, 142, you can ride if you're a, a windsurfer that can just get into the foot straps. A guy okay. that's kind of not that advanced. Oh, really? No way you're good enough to ride a slalom board. Wow. You can ride the hover. And well, you can do it in 8 to 12 knots of wind at home. You don't have to search out strong wind. So I haven't, I haven't windsurfed in 10 years, so you think I could jump on and that, end the foil and go? <laughs> within the first three runs, you'd be foiling. Uh, okay. Our whole thing with that is to we'll bring... To test that thing. Yeah. You know, there's, there's thousands and thousands yeah. and thousands of people around the world that quit windsurfing. And yeah. for good reason. The sport outgrew them. You need too much gear. It's never windy enough. Yeah. So the best times of their life were maybe windsurfing 20 years ago, and they quit. Yeah. Some of them kite, some of them do other stuff, they mountain bike. With that gear, yeah. you know, with a hover and a thrust foil, we can get them back on the water at home cool. when they have time, not yeah. when it's like 40 knots, and they're going to have fun and get back into yeah. the sport. And you also have like a crossover sub windsurf. Yeah, 
sup windsurf and foil on either oh cool right so it's so like a, a, a 120 and a 150 a panel and a foil and yeah. it's windsurf sail you yeah you can ride it as a quad yeah. and surf it if you got good waves and you want to yeah. you know stand up paddle it yeah. you can ride it as a windsurf foil board and you can ride it as a sup foil board so great compromise for a guy that wants to do a little bit of everything yeah. and um again just getting people on the water as often as possible and that's where surf foiling and sup foiling and kite foiling and windsurf foiling is adding a whole new dimension to getting people out there in conditions that you know they probably wouldn't be riding otherwise awesome Thanks a lot, Robbie. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Stoked. Yeah. Thanks for the opportunity. <laughs>